Hey everyone, Crimson Heretic here. Um, so I did a reaction yesterday to the Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies Reveal trailer. Um, but they've also uploaded the official game overview, which is about 14 minutes long. I think it's just them explaining, I guess, the story a bit more and behind the scenes, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure what it's about, but I thought I'd put my reaction up for this as well. Um, just because I'm really excited about uh, the new zombies. So yeah, let's go ahead and just see what this is about. Does look so good. Our partners at Sledgehammer Games have already revealed Call of Duty Vanguard's immersive campaign, an intense multiplayer all set in World War II. And now, keeping true to our zombies' nature, Treyarch is back for another round. I'm glad they're doing it again, but they're like Studio collabing with uh, Sledgehammer. A decade ago, returns to World War II and Sledgehammer Games is Vanguard, setting mm. the stage for a new zombies experience. Black Ops Cold War offered the team at Treyarch the opportunity to introduce players to the Dark Ether storyline, beginning with the opening of the Dark Ether Gateway at Project End Station. And now, prepare to face a new type of evil, meet new allies, and make new enemies. Prepare for a gameplay experience that gets you to the fun faster, all wrapped in a brand new dimension of zombies. In Vanguard, we're introducing a brand new zombies experience and a franchise first crossover that builds on the Dark Ether universe. And today, our team will share more about the story, the lore, core gameplay, weapons, and characters that will define the next chapter in the zombies saga. But first, let's whet our appetites with the world premiere, the new zombies gameplay trailer. Cool. I think they're going to show the trailer again, so... Um... Well, we might as well just rewatch it again for the sake of the video. Um, but yeah, it does look like they're going to be mixing in the style of World War II zombies, like Sledgehammer zombies, with Treyarch by the sounds of it. Like they're working together to make uh, the zombies experience. Um, so that's really exciting because you can sort of tell by the style and the look of this one. It very much looks very similar to World War II zombies that we got back in um, 2017, was it? World War II came out? Um, so yeah, I'm really hyped to see how they mix the two um, sort of styles together. Let's see. Yeah, so they're replaying the trailer. I might as well rewatch it again. Um, just to pick up on a few more things that I didn't yesterday. Yeah, so he's got some sort of artifact. My friend said that um, it looked like Darius because of the eclipse. But our enemies have allies from beyond this mortal realm. And there's a few things I didn't mention yesterday. I have no idea what that sort of artifact is. But these are like wonder weapons or something. Maybe each person has a specialist like class weapon. So there's a few things I noticed yesterday that I didn't notice during my first reaction when I rewatched it. Because so you got Frost Blast there, which for some reason I didn't pick up on. So that's Frost Blast. But yeah, these maps are a lot more like darker. And this is definitely Shinonuma for sure. You've got Energy Blast there. I'm not sure what that is. That might be another um, field upgrade. I think it's cool though because you got a zombie with a minigun <laughs> as well, which I didn't, I didn't pick up on yesterday. I saw it, but I didn't mention it. But yeah, the zombies, the style. They look a lot more like the World War II zombies that we had, like the uh, design of them. But I think it's cool that we're getting, we're going to be getting two, you know, Treyarch Digital and Sledgehammer uh, collaborating on it. Right, cool. Let's see what they say then. Death is only the beginning. Oh, the new map name was released as well. I think it's called Der. Yeah, it's called Der Anfang, which basically. Um, translates to the beginning. So that's what the new map name is going to be on Vanguard. All the stops to tell a new 
brutal story that expands and explores brutal story settling world the dark ether it's a story that longtime players will appreciate but one that will be easy for new players to pick up and play in addition to being canon okay. it's an experience that immerses and innovates on the core Treyarch zombies gameplay this is there oh there we go you release it and fang that and fang <laughs> Daran Fong. With Daran Fong exploring Fong. the mystical <laughs> and the occult, it was important to convey. That looks like Gorod Crovey with like the statue of the children in the middle. An unsettling and Not that I really liked Gorod Crovey. Sightlines will be obscured. I didn't really enjoy the Black Tree maps. Corpses from Soviet and German soldiers. Personally. And it all comes to life, so to speak, in Vanguard's epic World War II setting. With Vanguard Zombies, we really try to bring a new experience for all types of different players, from current players and really to getting new players into the Zombies ecosystem, right? Cold War brought Outbreak, and we've really taken the best... That's what, that's what I was thinking. What are they going to do? Are they going to, like, bring Outbreak to this as well? Um, with a whole new map, maybe? Because surely, seeing as we've had a massive, you know, open-world thing such as Outbreak and Cold War... It would feel like something's missing in this game if they didn't have something like that. But maybe they'll explain that now, hopefully. Test mechanics, maybe. smashed it together, and created Vanguard Zombies. Tower enemies have allies from the you know, I wouldn't mind if they didn't have Outbreak, because you can always play it on Cold War anyway. But it would be cool to have some sort of open world dark ether zombies on uh, vanguard the events of black ops cold war brought an end to one storyline the events of vanguard represent a new arc zombies new arc. players have witnessed okay. the catastrophic outcome the science experiments at project end station project end station was uh, are we going to be exploring that more hopefully that punched a hole through the dimensional veil and gave us access to the dark ether where these five otherworldly artifacts come from each one linked to a powerful dark ether entity. There is Cortifex the Deathless. Sirac Cortifex the Deathless. Saraxis the Shadow. The Shadow. Nordicus the Conqueror. Nordicus the Conqueror. Invictor the Destroyer. Invictor and Bellatar the Warlock. These dark ether entities bind their powers to our human operators. Right, okay, so that's Cortifex, those. Crafted in the dark ether. Each granting unique abilities like Frost Blast and Ring of Fire. Right, okay. Now, anyone who touches them forms a symbiotic bond with a dark ether entity. It's almost like being possessed, except the entities can't control their hosts. They can only offer guidance and their powers. Exposure okay. To the dark ether so are these, are these other entities helping to destroy the evil entity, I guess? That's cool. The Nazis to expand their research into dark magic. Enter Oberfuhrer Wolfram von List, a ruthless officer in command of an SS battalion called the Varheit. The Var. This was the group that plundered antiquities from around the world. Von List right. forced top experts to help him. Explorers, historians, and a demonologist named Gabriel Kraft. Professor Kraft's deep knowledge of the occult ultimately led Von List to these artifacts. Von List bonds okay. with the most powerful entity of them all, Cortifex the Deathless. This Cortifex former the Lord death. of the Dark Aether grants him the ability to raise the dead. And that's why, a year right. after their worst defeat... So, like, the evil one is bonding with that guy there, giving him the powers, and we're bonding with, like, the other uh, beings, I suppose. Von List takes the Warheit Pretty cool. back to Stalingrad, and he's going to raise an undead army, yeah. march them across Europe, and annihilate the Allied forces. Try and win the war the zombies are with zombies. Are undead bodies from the past war at the Eastern Front. Professor right. Kraft sends out a distress call. That call is answered by Vanguard Special Forces operators, but they end up trapped inside a barrier erected by court effects to seal off Stalingrad. They can't call for reinforcements. But they have Professor Kraft's expert guidance and their own unmatched combat skills. And four Dark Aether entities. Oh, okay. So those are the four you start with. So we've got Energy Mine, Aether Shroud, Ring of Fire, and Frost Blast. Uh, Frost Blast. Uh, okay, cool. So I'm assuming they're going to add more ones as it goes along. Will we get new ones or the same ones that we had in Cold War? I hope we get some new ones, to be honest. But again, I'm not really sure what they could do in terms of more uh, new skill so ideas to bond with them and share their powers they do this in the interest of defeating court effects the death or maybe you won't get any new ones maybe you'll just have those demons. ones throughout <laughs> not sure did they have their own agendas it's an unlikely team up but it's our only shot at keeping the third Reich from winning world war ii soul of the undead 
We had a lot of fun designing the different objective environments. Each location has a very distinct look and feel to the play space so that no two areas will feel similar. I like the if visual style. The realm of dark ether magic against the backdrop of Stalingrad. We haven't seen any perks yet. Like, yeah, we haven't seen any perk machines. Maybe they're given to you in a different way. I'm hoping they're like the normal perks we have because I hated what they did in Black Ops 4 with all the really unnecessary perks that could have been in one perk and not separate. But you know, that's just me. And sacrifices. With so many different elements in play, it was important to establish unique visuals. It is a look that feels more grounded, something you can have nightmares about. Hmm. I like that. I like the darker stuff. <laughs> I like that's what I miss about the old uh, zombies, like in World at War, like all the creepy touches to it. Like in Verrucked, when you hear like screaming and voices and stuff like that, you don't really get that in zombies nowadays. So hopefully, in this, they bring back more of the hor horror elements of the game. Variables, like summoning portals, blood rituals, hanging skulls, seances. Nice. <laughs> when it comes to zombie types, we run the gamut. We have your basic. We run the gamut. <laughs> and we also have yeah. our heavies. These big guys carry around mini guns. That's and, cool. And uh, those are the storm creatures or storm warriors. They are really hard storm to bring warriors. down, and it's hard to avoid them when they shoot. We also have something called the Boom Schreier, which means boom boom screamer in German. These are zombies that will run real quick and explode in contact. It's a, a wide variety okay. of threats, and they all start to pile sort up. Sort of like the yeah. tormentors, then, I guess. Maybe a bit, a bit stronger than the tormentors in Cold War. Further in rounds. Okay. Approaching the armed fun was important for us to stay true to our lineage while also building something brand new. You'll find all of the classics, right? Pack a punch, mystery. Oh, bombs, so normal pack a punch. Table. Oh, okay. Why okay. This time too. The runes are something you got the crafting the table, the mystery box, pack a punch, still magic is looking the same. That the dark ether entities use to manifest their powers Rune and magic. winds up being very important as the story plays out. Okay. We oh. tried really hard to make it accessible for new players. It's super easy to jump in and get started, right? You don't need to know anything about previous zombie experiences to enjoy this. Spawn into the map with your friends, jump into a portal, do an objective, you're in it. The it's world grows playing. harder. Okay, the world grows harder. What does that remind me of? What's that from? The world grows harder. Oh, I guess that's from Outbreak, isn't it? Interesting. Okay. That's interesting. Successfully. From the casual to the hardcore, there's enough for you to dive into. In Vanguard, we get players right into the action so they can start blasting away. Fighting zombies is Good. the core <laughs> of this mode, and it's what all our fans love doing, and we give you plenty of ways to do that. Survival is choice. Well, oh, yes, I choose. In the snowy graveyard of Stalingrad. Right. Forward operating base of our allied operators. Oh, okay, so you can teleport to Shino Numa. Here, just through the access to start. many of the upgrade machines they will need in the battles ahead. However, okay. players can't get too comfortable here because Stalingrad is still inhabited by roaming zombies. Right, so you can't stay in the middle with Zulog. The area is relatively confined, but as you complete objectives, the map opens up. Right. Access to Objective other base upgrades map. like the perk fountains. Perk fountains. As players complete these various challenges, they will open up the forward operating base to new threats and opportunities. Okay. Your dark ether enemies grow in power with each new objective. Objective so base. That's interesting. That means using traditional methods like buying perks and upgrading your weapons at the pack. Of right. So you drink it from the perk fountains. New means of gaining power through the altar of covenants. A brand new system to zombies that randomizes every time Ooh. you come back from an objective what you can purchase with a nasty sacrificial heart. Taking risks here, <laughs> adding new things. For one of three random upgrades. It's good though. You gotta have changes, like you know. Ammo gremlin, which reloads non-equipped weapons over time, or brain rot. To right. Okay. Right. So this is where you put on your like weapon effect. Brain rot, bloodlust, melee attacks do more damage and heal you. Critical kills, return a bullet to your clip. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you can buy them with the hearts you collect. To turn zombies into allies, or unholy ground, for those times when you really need to hold your position. Okay, alright. Step one is always, what gun do you this have? This might take some getting used to. Very differently with the Covenants. 
I think players are gonna find that when they pair up with a different dark ether entity, it feels like a completely distinct experience. So you're just combining your guns, your covenants, your equipment, the things you're finding in the world. You can have freedom to be in a cool place that would never exist in the real world. It's a different region with different inhabitants and in turn, yeah. different gameplay on this. They're really changing up, aren't they? Vanguard zombies, we're bringing that in spades. Definitely takes some getting used to. Moving world of the to Dead. The world of the occult provided plenty of inspiration around the visual identity of the game, and it helped to shape the way we think about the map design. We built zombies on the same engine as Vanguard. We wanted to make this unify with the rest of the game while still have its own identity that is more of a fantasy look. Players will battle across the rooftops of Hotel Royale on a rainy night in Paris. They'll fight at the base of a massive burning windmill in Merville, which was actually part of the Normandy invasion. And they'll find themselves in the classic swamps of Shinonuma, which is a true. That's so interesting. That Seeing that map in the setting of like World War II style. Like it's, I just find it really interesting how they're collabing and mixing these ideas together and styles. That's Our cool. longtime fans will be familiar with. Yeah, Shinonuma, such a weird map to bring back, but cool. Why not? Ether magic has allowed the team to really bubble up some interesting new ideas that we have not explored in past zombies experiences. The different objectives you're tasked with really alter how the player experiences the various environments. There's an objective called Blitz, which takes inspiration from that holdout style gameplay of just surviving, but this time you're taking the fight to them. Blitz. In Harvest, okay. you Love hunt it. zombies who drop runestones that you can collect. Players must then deposit these into an obelisk called the Sin Eater. In Transmit, you'll escort a floating zombie head as it seeks right, okay. weaknesses in the dimensional barrier to the Dark Ether. These different right. challenges and eerie environments with dark settings help the player feel enveloped in Cortifex's grasp. And we can't wait for our fans to experience This is very it. interesting. I didn't think they were going to be changing up this much, you know? I thought... It would just be the same style as Cold War, but just different maps and stuff like that. But they've actually really changed it. There's a big dy dynamic, you know. Wow. Okay. Let's finish off the video. Experience the fear. Daron Fung is a brand new experience that explores the Dark Ether universe in exciting, fresh ways. Launch is really just the tip of the iceberg. Everything post-launch is going to bring new twists, new stories, new characters, brand new gameplay. And it's all part of Vanguard's advanced global progression system featuring player and weapon leveling, plus battle pass system integration. Yeah. This is a whole new way to experience zombies. Welcome to Call of Duty Vanguard. Their unfung awaits. Okay. All the duty, Vanguard zombies. Damn. They're re wow. I I did. I was not expecting them to change this up, like change it up that much. I really wasn't. Um, I don't know what to say to be honest. There's a lot to talk about, but. Um, I probably won't talk about it now, you know, we've spoken about it while we've been watching. Um, it's a lot to take in, you know? It's a big change, big difference to gameplay styles, like, big drastic change. Uh, which is good, you know? You know, it's good to change it up, I'm glad they're doing their own thing with it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments what you think about this overlook of the game. Um, what do you like, what do you don't like? Uh, I know in World War II Zombies you can have reload effects on your Pack-a-Punch weapons. I'm curious to see if they'll bring that back in this. Um, it doesn't look like they have, which is fine, but you know, it's always interesting. Uh, maybe they felt like it didn't work. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I won't talk too much. That was the overview of Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. Cannot wait to play it. Uh, if you want to follow me over on Twitch, my link is down in the description. I will be playing Vanguard Zombies when it drops, hopefully on the day it drops. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe if you're not subbed already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.